a couple of the features at Curb are a rammed earth wall and a rammed earth bench that we can sit on when we're too tired to eat anymore. And those were created in two courses that we gave as fundraisers in 2012 and 2013 by, taught by a local rammed earth uh, contractor, Al Nickel, and were very popular and, and introduced a lot of people to the concept of um, curb and local food security and so on who were not really aware of those issues at all and were more interested in the construction end. But I think they did uh, provide a valuable gateway to people who subsequently became involved in CURB. On the rammed earth wall is a plaque of appreciation for the people who contributed materials when we were first getting going. The uh, city of Penticton, for one, in contributing a water connection and uh, soil, mulch, all the kinds of things that we needed to get going. Uh, Mel Kemp of Canwood Industries uh, donated the, the structures that we're ultimately using for garden beds and also have available to the public for uh, a small fee. They're wonderful, fast garden beds, wooden folding frame structures. P&E uh, donated some um, cedar lumber for getting our first beds going, and Art Knapps and um, Superior Peat both contributed to our soil and our plants, as did Sandstone uh, uh, Landscape Supplies and uh, Jardin Gardens, and a number of others, Home Hardware, the, the response from the community and the business community in particular has been really heartwarming because it took us a while to get our message out for a variety of reasons, but people who had something that we can use were very um, generous about contributing it. And actually we have a whole office of office furniture just waiting until we can afford a space to put it in that was donated by uh, Magellan uh, Industries, another small company in town that we're grateful to. Another donor of significance was Grower Supply in Penticton who donated uh, materials for our irrigation system. The alternative to that was running around with a garden hose and if we'd had to do that for another year there wouldn't have been 20 beds there. And Growers has been very uh, helpful in providing uh, additional materials at a discount and also lots of advice along with it. So another company we're grateful to. Looking to the future a little bit, uh, we had a, a project completed this year to examine the feasibility of growing more uh, food for the food bank in Supateria and other uh, sources for people on restricted incomes. And that project to complete that feasibility study, which was done by a, a local contractor, was uh, funded in part by the Real Estate Foundation of British Columbia. So they made that possible. We couldn't have uh, afforded that on our own. And so that was another great s source of support that uh, got us going one step further down the road towards greater local food security. Organizations that have helped us, one that must not be forgotten is the Downtown Penticton Association because they were instrumental in helping us achieve a license to use that particular piece of property for uh, the teaching gardens and they've been supportive of our efforts all the way along and uh, so that particular organization has uh, our particular gratitude.